I grew up coming here with good family friends, with some Donaldsons. We would stay for like three, four days, it seems like, and Lily would read stories while we were going to bed. I always brought my guitar and we'd sing songs and we'd make a fire outside and Trevor and Corbin and I would cook bacon on a stick and think that we were like, you know, mountain men. And we'd go on hikes and everything at night is lit by lanterns and candles and it's so basic but it makes you just appreciate just simplicity. Ready to get going? Yeah. Got it all right there. Three and a half miles. <laughs> uh oh. Move right. Slow traffic. Snowmobiles. So much cooler to do things the hard way. <laughs> out here. I think online it said what three and a half miles but they have it packed down nice so it's not too tough but we had to we had to take just a little bit of a break and we also did pick the furthest cabin away from the from the parking I was like, lot so <laughs> obviously had to make a pit stop for the birds what's that it's a wrong call trying to drum in <laughs> You protect those binoculars, okay? Don't let them get wet. Yeah. <laughs> what is that little thing? Oh, it's a rare chickadee. Oh, we're just one mile away. You're doing good. You're doing good. Thanks. Feel good, you know? Feels yeah. good to be outside. Feels good to have my little sweater on. We're here. Oh, we were here three years ago. It's so good to be back. Welcome home. <laughs> Get on up there. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's a fire going on inside. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. Oh, you can see the flames, yeah. actually. Oh, it's going to be this. warm in there. Yeah, let's go. Oh, this is like luxury. And there's still light on. Rustic. So can... <laughs> a pre lit fire, warm. Door is locked, though. <laughs> Welcome to the Sturgeon Bay Cabin. It's oh, just yeah. pitch black. Welcome to the Sturgeon Bay Cabin. <laughs> okay, that's like a game show. Welcome to the Sturgeon Bay Cabin, where your dreams can come true. And the... It's got it's open. <laughs> it's already unlocked. I was just trying to like replay the other day. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, here it is. Welcome! So we totally moved in, but you can see we have a great picnic table, fire, here's some beds. We pushed these two together so we could sleep by each other, and a great little cooking station. This is all you need. They, they have pre-cut wood for you, so you just like boop boop in. We love this little getaway. So the rest of the cabin right here. We're totally biased, but we appreciate the piping clover shout out protecting them and making people aware. cabins don't have water nor electricity but they do have an outhouse the only bad thing is that at night it's so darn spooky 
because it's way over there, which is not far. Because we heard all those coyotes last night. No way. So Scott has to assist me to the bathroom. <laughs> but look, like, can you imagine late at night walking through the woods with the lantern and you see shadows and like things and hear things left and right and you're like, look, and then looking's the worst because then you see so much more. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, you think oh. you're funny. It's all better. All better. So we felt like we got a three mile hike in yesterday and we're gonna get in a, a three mile hike tomorrow. So we went for a little walk just kind of more of the same trail through the trees. So we're actually gonna go out to the water and look at the ice, cause last night we saw it and it was all built up and it's the blue ice, which is actually not blue, it's clear, but the way that it stacks and the light hitting it and all the reflections and things that happen with color makes it look blue. So, go check out the blue ice, baby. Sweet. Woo! That's what's cool about this place is, you can make it whatever you want, just like anything, I suppose, but, I don't know, we're pretty keen on shutting off our phones, playing cards, making some food, hanging out inside the cabin. But if you wanted to bring your cross country skis or snowmobiles and just like go explore and go off into the wilderness, well, it's called Wilderness State Park for a reason. We had a possum, a wild possum outside of our cabin, meandering its way. You sure it wasn't tame? No, it is wild. Come on guys and girls. So it's just a little walk out to the water. Oh, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I gotta back up. Oh yeah, you are stuck. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like you're here. Oh gosh, yeah. It's really blue today, it's huh? So beautiful. Just like plain old see-through kind of opaque ice. This is a uh, whose line is it anyway? Is it no bat? Obviously. A weapon. A torch for lighting your way through a cave. A stalactite. Tiger! Also an ancient tablet with inscriptions. It's also a lot of pieces of ice. What do you see? Some uh, uh, dark-eyed juncos hopping around up there. time being stay in the cabin time because I think we're just gonna carve and read and play some cards and maybe put some snacks together and just hang out that's what we're here for we're just to get away and to hang out so that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the night
dinner, as the Michiganders call it. So it's looking good? Oh my gosh, it's smelling amazing. Bubbling? No bubbling. Bubbling? <laughs> no bubbling. I can do that for hours. We're having a feast. Some rice, carrots, broccoli. broccoli. Feta cheese, alpine, lettuce, cheese. Fresh salad. Sauteed onions, venison. Like, we have it all. Rustic. <laughs> I mean, it is a rustic cabin. <laughs> it's like, yay. Hey. I want to eat, but like not in front of the camera. So. All right. I really like it here. No. It's just so nice. There's no feeling like you have to do anything. Mm -hmm. There's just no sense of urgency. Do you want to do this? It's like, sure. Then we move on to that. Sure. It's funny, we found, oh actually, this is cool, hold on. There's this notebook here, it says Sturgeon Bay Cabin. It's filled with notes of people who have stayed here. This is from 2017, February 13th and 14th. And we were getting ready to go, and I remember I kept putting it off because I wanted to write something really heartfelt and like moving and all of that, but I ended up just writing just two quick sentences, and it said, Being in a place like this means to truly live in the moment. There is quite literally nowhere else we'd rather be. Scott and stuff. It, when I reread this, I was like, okay, that's kind of cheesy. But then now, just talking about it, it's like, there's literally no other place that we're thinking about being. No, nothing else calling our name. Just like... When we're out here, we get to just be right here, which is pretty rare and really great. It just feels really good. Sounds very dramatic. Sounds very dramatic, but it's true. I'm ready to play hand and foot. I'm ready right. to come back and win this. Play some cards? Yeah, play some cards. Wait, look at this little scene. Look how cool this is. Next to the fire, sitting on the bed. Using the bench as a little table. You beyond again. It's your turn. Good morning, Scotty. How are you? How'd you sleep? Pretty good. You got up and stoked the fire every single time, like four times. I didn't do anything except wake you up once and say, Scott, the fire's low. <laughs> that was all you. Yeah, well, I didn't want to have to make a new one from scratch. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for doing that. Yeah. It stayed toasty warm in here all night. It was so warm. I was so chucky. These beds are rustic. <laughs> I do love sleeping in sleeping bags. Yeah. There's something about it. The texture and the sounds. You have no idea what time it is right now. Yeah, we just like woke up when we felt like it. I don't really want to know what time it is. Though. Oh, it's so nice. Kind of want to just, it's like, eh, it's morning time. <laughs> we stayed two nights. It's our third day. And so we're just getting packed up to leave. Had a slow and cozy morning reading and coffee. And Scott, this beautiful carving. Wow. But now we're going to... Progress. Pack up and head back home. Enjoy our visit to Wilderness State Park. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, right. that's it. We're headed out. Our time here at Wilderness State Park is done. We're going back home. It's been a ton of fun, huh? It's been pretty great. It's been awesome. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Follow along for the other adventures. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.